Okay, guys, good morning. Just wanted to do a little quick update. I'm coming off of a week's vacation visiting the fam up in Maryland. It is uh, Tuesday morning. So what's going on in the garden? I'm starting to see some little beans here. These are black beans. Watering from the roots. Um, don't water the leaves, especially if you have super hot days because it'll burn the leaves and they'll be super unhealthy and it can really lead to other types of problems. Leaves the plant more susceptible to other things like blights and bugs. and So you want the healthiest leaves you can possibly get because that's what the sun is jumping down onto. Photosynthesis obviously helps all of your vegetables grow. Look at that cucumber. It's huge. That's fantastic. These are the Boston Picklers. A little bit more of a crisp, bitter taste, but I love them. They're delicious. Lots of blooms on the squash plant. I'm doing a little bean watering this morning. So bean, bean. The peas, uh, I'm not sure what's happening with those. With the peas, I'm not sure what's going on with these guys. They're trying to come back, but they got hammered by really, really hard rain a couple of weeks ago. And they just, they have not seemed to be able to recover from that. I've got them over on that side too. And in the time that they were pushed down, the other stuff jumped up. So they're also not getting as much sunlight. But all of the twine and stuff is ready to go. The cucumber's already taken advantage of that. And I'm sure other plants will take it to their advantage too. Let me switch positions here on this hose. Over on the other side of the garden now. Look at all the massive amounts of blooms on this squash, y'all. Like this is a squash strosity. Huge. Should be able to feed the entire neighborhood with this. And then I'm also looking while I'm watering for things that I can help train. So this cucumber down here is starting to form and it wants to climb. But the closest way for it to do that is way out there. So anytime you can kind of help it along, it's never a bad idea to do that. This thing will just attach anywhere. All set back here. Let's look at the flowers today. Spider plant's gonna get some water. I've already taken tons of cuttings and sprouts off of this guy. Doing really, really well. Lots of garden spiders today. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but it's right there. Very cool. Pumpkin's doing better, even with rascals pruning. We've got really heavy dew this morning. That'll burn off. Everything's looking good. The bees are out active early this morning as they always are. And the sunflowers are fabulous. I've got uh, at least three that are over eight feet tall. I think that's closer to nine. And then just a bunch, bunch more new blooms. The nasturtium is doing well. Very pretty blooms on that. Salvia looks fabulous. Begonias look good. Like everything is super healthy. The only thing that I've struggled with this year has been the tomatoes. And I think, where did it go? Yeah, look at that. There's a little volunteer. Now, I never planted a tomato there. It just came up from last year because these are the pots that I used. I thought that I had changed out most of the soil, but apparently that's not the case. At least not for that guy. And the rest of the garden. Here's all the spider plant cuttings. They're doing well. The lone bean.
geraniums also doing well got some leaf spots on this but this is an australian flowering plant and i'm not familiar with it so i don't know if i've underwatered overwatered it's beautiful real tiny pink multiple blooms per flower good morning light this morning too some mint and the succulents okay so i was getting super backlit on this so we're just gonna stay off the stand here the plant stand really cool succulents are doing well i'm getting ready to transplant some of the smaller ones into slightly bigger pot they can take smaller pots oh look at the bonsai i rescued it's really starting to come back to life super cool this is flat parsley lupine just everything's growing middle of july i would expect nothing less and of course the uh, the basil has gotten i don't want to let that um bolt or flower so I might do some pesto with this. And then mints, we're starting to use a lot of mint in teas. You can chew peppermint. The stems are edible. There's really not much of the peppermint that's not edible. And it's kind of like a superfood. So with stuff like this, it's really, really good for your, your body. It helps sustain, it's a mood elevator. Although some people would argue it's invasive. When you grow it in a pot, you can kind of control what it does. And it smells fabulous, especially after a rain. Really, really good stuff. So that is the tiny little garden update. Sun's up, time to get to work. <laughs> what are you doing? You want some of this? Still a yellow dog. <laughs> 